Avery Gorman. How are you doing today, Avery? It's been a while. I know, I know. It's been a while. <laughs> Where are you now? I know you were at Writers Down this morning. What's this event now? Yeah, so this is actually at the Fedonia Brewery. They're actually having an event here to benefit. Um, it's in partnership with the city of Nacogdoches, as well as the pickleball group here in Nacogdoches. And yeah, they're raising money uh, for some for some additions to their pickleball courts. Something that has taken off here in Nacogdoches is the craze of pickleball. In the last two years, they went from having no pickleball courts to having 21. And so that has come, you know, some of it has been from the city putting money into it, as well as, um, you know, some donors that have donated some money to, you know, create these pickleball courts here. But today an event is happening here to raise money um, in partnership of the city, as well as the pickleball group here. And they are selling uh, crawfish as well as red beans and rice and sausage on a stick in 100% of the proceeds goes to the pickleball group here and some of the additions that they want to make. So um, each one of those things that I listed oh, back over here, there are $8 a piece. So a pound of crawfish is $8. Um, a bowl of red beans of but red beans and rice is $8, as well as the sausage on the stick is $8. And like I said, 100% of the proceeds go um, to the pickleball group and helping fund some of the things that they need. So I'm going to turn this around let you kind of look. Uh, so many people out here just enjoying the weather. Uh, as well as the crawfish and you know the other things that the brewery has to offer i'm going to walk back over here and show you some of the needs that the pickleball group um wants for their um their courts here so yeah they're they're accepting donations as well as all of the money going back here but um i'll turn this around here it is they have they want some uh they, they need donations for some wood screens um bag nets squeegees for when it does rain that they can squeegee the court um a lock box for players to put stuff in blowers they want some bleachers for some people to come out and be able to watch um, some of the pickleball matches that go on um, as well as stump removal first aid kits and then the Bonita Creek Park um, pickleball court does not have nets at this time uh, you have to bring your own net if you do want to play um, so yeah that's what they're raising money for here and um, a big push in this is because they're wanting to host um, pickleball tournaments here. Um, I mentioned the pickleball group. They are called the Old Town Pickleball Group. Um, they're a group of people that meet every single day and they go to all of these different pickleball courts across Nacogdoches and play together in fellowship. They meet every single morning from eight to noon to play pickleball. Um, and so they're wanting to host tournaments officially here in, the, in Nacogdoches and bring you know pickleball players all over to come um, and participate. But they have 21 courts right now um, the one at Moroni Park, they have, um, I believe it's 12 courts and all of those have nets and everything, but they do need those back nets and the wind nets and things like that. Whereas the Bonita Creek Park, they do not have nets or wind nets you know, wind nets or anything like that at this point. So yeah, that's what they're raising money for here today. Um, and so this is happening right now and it's going until 10 o'clock tonight. So you have plenty of time to get out here um, and, and participate in this if you would like to. So yeah, that's what's going on here in Nacogdoches. I mean, it looks like you found really an amazing event until 10 o'clock tonight, $8 for a pound of crawfish. And I can see so many people are taking advantage of that. I would be too if I was there. I might swing by later tonight. <laughs> I love crawfish. Oh my goodness. Same. And Same. especially for such a good cause. And you said that those checks payable to the city of Nacogdoches, you can donate on site. Am I right? Yes, that is correct. So all the money that is purchased, of course, from the food and stuff goes to that. But you can also make donations on top of that or just strictly donations if you would like to. Um, they have buckets all around here um, as well as underneath this tent. You can make a donation if you would like. So, yeah, yeah, this is going on till 10 tonight. So you have plenty of time to make it like, you know, plenty. come out for this and uh, take advantage of the the crawfish and the, the good food and the, the good cause. Fredonia uh, Brewery until 10 o'clock at night, right? Yes, yes, All right, it perfect. is. Head on out there. I mean, it looks like Avery is going to be stuck out there for quite a <laughs> bit working on her package, aka eating some crawfish. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, Avery. We will check in with you a little bit later. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks. All righty. Once again, that was our very own Avery Gorman. I mean, she really does find some diamond in the rough stories. And if you know anything about me, you know, love me some crawfish day after the taylor swift concert when i was still back in my hometown my uncle threw a crawfish boiled the entire family went out and i had my nail my taylor swift nails that i showed you guys and so he knows i love crawfish and he's like are you gonna eat me i was like i don't know i have my nails 
This man sat right next to me. He cracked and peeled all my crawfish and he just kept passing it, kept passing it. I was there for at that uh, plate for about an hour, just getting handed crawfish, popping it. Oh my goodness, could have eaten about 10 pounds in that hour. It's oof. Love me some crawfish. I used to grow up eating crawfish still. Anytime I go home, I ask where the nearest crawfish boil is because there's always one in that area of Texas. There always is going to be one.